We've had a builder before in Colorado, which can be kind of a sticky state, go in there and say that was the smoothest process he's ever had pulling a building permit. I would say the biggest thing everybody says is what a relief, because we made it so much fun and they are just ecstatic and excited to see their new home be built. It's just so cool to see our customers uh, walk in the door when they get here. Uh, most of them have never been here before. They walk in and they see all these wall and ceiling finishes and timber trusses and all our finishes and they're just like, wow. It's amazing to be able to touch and feel and see the different, the slight variations in wood textures and tones. They can spatialize the design and to see how the roof plans come together and how things tie together with all the beams and everything that we're doing. So the end result comes back to what the customer's expectations were. Between Dale and I, we can help them, guide them, and reassure them that these are all going to flow together and your house is going to look spectacular. A couple customers even comment, I can't believe we just selected everything for the house when they walk out here in one day, you know? A customer never has to worry about, um, you know, is my, my roof or my floor loaded properly for tile on the floor, for snow load, you know, what have you. Keeping it all here at Golden Eagle, we're taking care of all that for the customer. A lot of our homes are built in in uh, cool areas that have a lot of views that they want to take advantage of. So just expanding outside the home as well. This all gets done. You get several really well-skilled designers in a room with you for just two days. It gets all hammered out. You're actually making all those selections up front, getting all that planning done up front so that when you go to actually start construction, you know what everything's gonna cost because you've already picked it out. We're gonna go through all these details and we're gonna make this home amazing for you. Building your dream home should be fun and easy, and in this video, we're gonna show how Golden Eagle does that. I'm here with John and Jan. Guys, let's dig a little deeper on how we make that happen. I think the main reason clients come to Golden Eagle is the ease and the simplistic format of our complete package. And I talk about that in two different aspects. Yeah, all the great products we offer, uh, but then all the services that come along with those products. And John, what are some of those services that we offer? Yeah, I mean, here at Golden Eagle, in-house, we have our in-house design team, selections, so we're really guiding that whole process. Great thing about coming to Golden Eagle with our in-house design team is we're able to design that home from day one with the end result in mind, meaning customers come to us with a vision. You know, this is their dream home. This is something they've been planning. They give us, you know, kind of a, an outline of what they're thinking, and we're able to take that outline use our design team, use all the other services we have in place and design their dream home and keeping them on budget every step of the way to include everything they've been wanting to incorporate. I think that, you know, is one of our great products that we offer here right in-house. Definitely, we, we have the same goal in mind. We want an amazing dream home in the end. So we're gonna help guide you through those steps, like you said, to keep you on budget, get you all the features that you want and to have that vision, that, that dream that you had when you came in here come to reality. And one of the first steps is giving you a ballpark price. I mean, you wanna ensure that uh, your dream is within the ballpark of what you wanna maintain. And then the next step is, that one of the most fun steps is custom designing that home with that client. I think it's, it's that's one of the most fun steps of this entire um, home building process. And that takes a little bit of time. You know, I mean, this isn't something, this isn't a cookie cutter home that, that we're just designing in a couple of weeks. There's gonna take a, a lot of steps and some time to get everything just right, to get all those dreams that you want into that home. Where you want trusses, how many you want. You want them hand hewn, what design do you want? You want beams in the bedroom, in the bathroom. You know, how, how far do you want to take that beam work? Yeah, absolutely. And it's not even just the beams. You know, with our timber homes now, I think you can both agree. Just you can really add so much element to that home by changing up sizes of beams and timbers and trims and stuff, you know. So that's a whole nother discussion. Texturing. We offer so many different textures here and stuff. So that's that in itself is a whole, you know, discussion. Um, windows, you know, believe it or not, are becoming a big topic For that sure. can take you know some right. time to detail out. Yeah. Um, not only you know the size, the configuration. Do you want smart blinds? Do you want integrated grills, uh, integrated screens, the sun defense tenting? I mean, windows. You could spend a lot of time really customizing a customer's homes with those. Even yeah, it's amazing how far windows <laughs> have come. I think you know Pella's catalog is you know is that thick. <laughs> Um, and then, you know, just wall finishes. I mean, with a lot of the homes that we're designing, it's not just, you know, drywall walls. A lot of clients are putting some sort of reclaim finish in it, barn wood, um, or maybe it's even stonework up the entire wall. So let's step outside the door 
and look out at the exterior of the home, swimming pools and covered porches and screen porches. They're looking for uh, patios and just the outdoor living kitchens and things that come with the outside of the house. Pool houses. We have so many mm -hmm. different exterior options, whether it's maintenance-free exteriors or stone. Maybe it's uh, the rustic look, uh, log look, or a timber look and the timber trusses. There's just so many outside elements, Western roof systems. These are all things that uh, are really a big part of our new design process. Like you said earlier, we're not creating a spec home or that, that cookie cutter house, you know, that's going up in the subdivision. We're creating a forever home. So we're including really fun movie theaters, awesome bars for entertaining, wine cellars. I think you had a customer do a golf simulator, yep. right, Justin? Yep. Um, sometimes the square footage for those items are just as big as the home itself. Um, you know, outdoor pavilions, the pool, the pool pubs and cabanas that we talked about earlier. Um, so it's not just the home itself, it's kind of expanding outside the home now as well. I mean, a lot of our homes are built in, in uh, cool areas that have a lot of views that they want to take advantage of. So um, just expanding outside the home as well. Yeah, absolutely. That's the big thing right there, Justin, I think you hit on is a lot of our customers are building outside of the state, especially the state we're in. You know, they're building all over the country. They're building outside their state that they're actually living in, right? This is probably either, like I said, the forever home or a, a, a vacation home that they're going to. So, you know, they wanna come somewhere that their mind's at ease because they know things are being taken care of. That's one great thing about coming to us with yeah. our builder network and everybody that we work with. Our customers aren't building in their backyard, you know, right down the road, right. yep. most of the time, right? Yep. Most right. of the time they're building out of state. And then like we hit, you know, they're building that vacation home. And when they go on vacation, they want it to be awesome. Right. They don't want to go rent a hotel room. That's why they're building this house. You know, right. so they've got great land. They've got it on a lake somewhere now. They want to maximize their time at that location, right? So right. that's why a lot of customers are really putting so many details when we work with them now, I think. And right. conveniences yeah. are very important. Uh, a lot of our customers uh, are that 50 and over age group so that we uh, we want you know technologies uh, to make things easier for them with wider doorways and zero entry entrances, uh, smart technologies for lighting and being able to control important. that home from from where you're living right now right. Uh, from a couple states exactly. away. It's pretty amazing now setting the temperature just right so when you get there it's nice and cozy or it's cooled down. You know when you get there, the fireplace and... can be going when you <laughs> right. walk in the front door. <laughs> yeah, that's really crazy. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, we talked about a lot of awesome design features that, that we provide and, you know, th this takes a little bit of time to get through this design process, you know. Um, I've seen it take as, as quick as a month. I've seen it take, you know, five to six months to get through this design process. I think this is a good time to bring in one of our design team members and talk about the benefit of the in-house design. I'm joined here with Tim Scala, one of our in-house design team members. Tim, can you dig in a little deeper about the benefits of the in-house design? What we ended up doing is we have a good interaction with the team members going from uh, the sales staff, the customers, our final selections, and our engineering side of the projects. We end up looking at the plans to make sure, for example, your casing fits at the door. So if you go like a four inch, six inch, or eight inch casing that we adjust your hall widths. Uh, we work with the design department to make sure your kitchen actually fits into the house. Uh, when you do your different wall finishes, we do our different log sidings, drywall, the tongue and groove, and all these things have to be taken into consideration for doing the locations of the uh, parts of the project. For sure, it's super uh, important. I mean, making sure all those components are working together, mm -hmm. all the departments are talking to each other. Mm -hmm. um, I know you guys are doing some cool stuff with some isometric stuff. Yeah, we don't have the ability to, for the customer to do an isometric view of the roof and the project itself so they can get that they can spatialize the design and to see how the roof plans come together and how things tie together with all the beams and everything that we're doing. It also allows us to, when we're working with our suppliers too, that they can actually envision what we're looking for. So the end result comes back to what the customer's expectations were. For sure, yeah. I mean, we're, we're creating something that doesn't exist yet. Mm -hmm. So we're designing this new cool home for you. And sometimes it's hard to visualize that. So the isometrics are very helpful. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes some of the interior renderings that we can provide um, help visualize that home even before it's built. Super mm -hmm. cool. Yeah, and just an example, like the, even our logs, just to think about it is, our logs have specific heights on the full log or half log. So we have to take that into account and just come up the wall of heights 
uh, your overhangs, how the finishes tie together, and also even if when working with us, you're not going to a second uh, designer or something because they don't understand the nuances of a log home and, or a timber frame style. Exactly. Yeah. And Tim, we're doing a lot of interior uh, and exterior timber trusses and exposed beam timbers. So uh, what do you got to look for when you're incorporating that into the plans? Well, with that too, it's a matter of, okay, what size of material you want to use so it stays in the scale with the project. Also, if it's a structural designer or a non-structural member in the house that kind of drives what we can do for the building design itself. And then actually the design of the timber truss that you want to do and how it ties back in with the building. Does it look aesthetically correct with the project? I think one of the great value adds too, Tim, and correct me if I'm wrong, is when you, being that we're in-house and we're working together is between the sales department and the design department, we're able to communicate what the customer's ultimately looking for in the home, what kind of budget we're trying to maintain for the home, and then you guys are able to give us the best suggestions to maximize all their options, knowing pricing kind of, you know, mm -hmm. you're not you're not a, a third party, let's just say. You're yeah. not a second party designing the home with no idea of what the pricing is when they go to build the home. You guys yeah. are in the same company as us, so we're able to work mutually together to achieve a great end product and give them the best product possible. Yeah, we can offer alternatives. So say in the the master suite, they were for the bathroom. Okay, we might come up with two or three different options based on what they started with. Or we can do a couple iterations of that by, okay, we move the, the soaking tub over to this corner. It opens up this area over here for a better view for the tile shower. I mean, just different things like that we can do for those items. And then also, we sit down and we'll talk with the customer too if we can't get it across that so we can get undo the uh, um, go-to meetings or things like that too to try and help them understand how the whole project's going together and help them visualize their ideas. So now that we've finalized your design, we've got the house exactly how the customer wants it. You know, this next step is really the funnest step, I think, I, uh, most customers would all agree too. It's when we bring them in and we go through selections. It's a one, two day process, depending on how, how big a home, how complex a home is. And this is where they get to come in and pick out in-house, you know, all the stone, the color palette, doors, uh, kitchen cabinets, design the functionality of all the cabinets, not just kitchen, laundry, mudroom, everything else. I mean. Right, yeah, this is, this is probably my favorite step of the, of the process for sure, is that selections day, whatever it is, one or two days. So. Um, it, it's really a lot of fun being able to see that home literally kind of come together and uh, you know they have the, they have the inspiration board there where they literally pull the samples off the wall and start putting it together you can see that all the colors and cat between the cabinetry and the, the stones and the stain interior and exterior stains just come together and you can make sure that everything is is the way you envisioned it well and that's you know that's the whole part of Golden Eagle is is the one stop shop experience and it's just so cool to see our customers uh, walk in the door when they get here uh, most of them have never been here before. They walk in and they see all these wall and ceiling finishes and timber trusses and all our finishes and they're just like, wow, this is cool. And we're gonna, now we're gonna spend two days with you. We're gonna go through all these details and we're gonna make this home amazing for you. So yeah. that's where our selection staff uh, comes into play. Um, you know, at this point, the, the design of the home has pretty much been uh, you know, been drawn, so they're happy with the plan layout, and now it's time to make this home amazing. Yeah. Who better to explain the selection step than the stars of the show, Deb and Dale. Let's bring them in. One of the great benefits about coming to Golden Eagle is that everything is all under one roof. Um, you don't have to go to multiple places to have your cabinets designed. Um, we can show you all kinds of different finishes for your roofing, your stonework, um, we even have a lot of samples of logs for you to view when you're here. All right, so Deb, what are the, some of the cool and hot things that, that people are doing with, uh, with cabinetry design right now? I think the trend right now is a lot of shaker, flat panel door styles. Um, we're seeing the perimeters of the kitchen be stained um, and then the islands being painted in a color um, or just a different color stain, a darker stain. Um, we're also seeing trends where we're doing cabinetry in bar for bar areas, coffee area, coffee bar areas, um, pantries, we're doing custom kitchen cabinets for pantries, um, walk-in closets, um, also theater rooms and stuff, we're doing custom cabinets too. For sure, yep. 
I, I think that's a, another another benefit for the customers. We're, we're staying up on all the the cool hot items, you know, mm-hmm. kind of even setting some trends as well in the industry with with your designs. It's it's pretty amazing. Yeah, we both Dale and I really try to you know we look for ideas and pass things off to each other and have those in like like a folder, I would say, you know, that ideas and stuff that we can go back to, so. I think a lot of our clients are building in areas that they're not living in too. So they can come to us, make all those selections, see that they look awesome, and not have to work, you know, skip from vendor to vendor and vendor and try to put all these things together, make sure that each vendor is speaking to each other. That's what we do here. Our design team, our selections team is all speaking to each other, making sure that everything works out picture perfect. You know, if there's a heavy trim around the kitchen window, you're making sure that the crown molding isn't encroaching on that trim, you know, or vice versa. If you guys make a cabinet bigger or an appliance gets larger and that cabinet needs to shift over a little bit and that window needs to shift, you know, you're speaking with the design team and moving that window over. So um, that's a huge benefit. By the end of the day, they have everything picked out. We have it on a big display board for them to see. They're taking pictures. They're excited. They're walking out the doors with a presentation in their hand. So they can show all their family and friends on their new house that they're gonna build. And I think that's a real value add, is that when they they leave the meeting that day, they know their kitchen layout, they know the cost of everything they've picked out before they're even breaking ground. A lot of companies, you know, you might be digging the basement and you're still having to go make those selections because you haven't actually picked out your cabinets or your doors or anything. Mm-hmm. Where with our process, you're actually making all those selections up front, getting all that planning done up front, so that when you go to actually start construction, you know what everything's gonna cost because you've already picked it out. Yeah, the slide deck that you guys provide when they leave, it's always a good tool. Clients are always uh, referencing back to that, you know, what color did I pick for this? What did I pick? They don't even remember. So you guys do a great job of organizing all that information for them. And so they, they know down the road what they've picked and what they selected and they can select other Um, other samples from that. I would say the biggest thing everybody says when they leave is what a relief because we made it so much fun and they are just ecstatic and excited to see their new home be built. So it might come across kind of overwhelming for some customers to go through and make these selections. How do you guys make it simpler and more fun for the customer you think? Well I think the biggest benefit that we have here is everything is all under one roof and um, we have everything ready and prepared for the clients when they get here. Um, between Deb and I, we have many years of experience where we can guide them through everything and make it so much easier and assure them that the selections that they are making are gonna work and look awesome in their homes. And the biggest comment that we get from clients when they're leaving is, wow, what a big relief when we left. You guys made it so easy, so much, so fun, and they're just so excited to see the final product. I think I've had a couple customers even comment, I can't believe we just selected everything for the house when they walk out <laughs> yeah, here in one day. You know? It's pretty amazing, yeah. yeah, it yeah is. Any, any other comments on that? No, I think no. we, are, we have everything together, and like I said, we have pre-selections, so when we send the slides out, um, they, some of them already have things chosen already, so that makes the process a lot faster and a lot easier for them. And we do um, help them, guide them with their color selection. Some customers are um, hesitant on knowing if these colors or finishes all work together. And between Dale and I, we can help them, guide them, and reassure them that these are all going to flow together and your house is going to look spectacular. I felt like it was akin to shopping. You know, and I love shopping, so it's, it's, it's a lot of fun, and it's amazing to be able to touch and feel and see the different, the slight variations in wood textures and tones. It's, it's amazing, actually, how much you have here. And, you know, I have probably watched several of your videos uh, that show this, this showroom, but really uh, that, that doesn't do it justice. You, you have to come and see everything and touch everything. But but let me also add, as big as the showroom is and as many things as there are, there's far more that Golden Eagle offers that, that isn't in the showroom. And what ends up happening is, is they put you in kind of a large conference room like this and their incredibly adept people fire up a large TV screen 
and uh, roughly at the typing speed of light, they will throw up the options on a TV screen of the things they don't have here, uh, show you the different sub options, the costs, uh, what the cost will be in combination uh, in certain rooms once the, the room or the object has been tallied up across uh, 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 rough in plumbing and then the final features and everything together. And they'll just have it up on a screen for you immediately. And then the folks that night will go and put it all in their spreadsheets and, and everything and, and, and have it all together for you the next day. It's, uh, so it, the showroom's impressive. But getting the entire process done and handed to you before you before you leave um, is is equally impressive. By a half dozen professionals at our disposal in front of us, it's amazing. And and I was and I was drawing the example that while this is the first house we've ever built, uh, we've both gone through three or four minor or major remodels on homes in in the past. And, uh, or, and we've also hired designers to do redecorating. Uh, and it can be extremely expensive. It can be frustrating to do this process with say a builder or a contractor once you've started the project. This all gets done. You, you get uh, several really well-skilled designers in a room with you for just two days. It gets all hammered out. Uh, our builder was here with us um, to help us with some of the decision ideas too. The designers know their stuff, but the builder has, has to put it in. So he was able to add great color to it as well, saying, well, you know, that's a good option, but here's what I'll have to do. And maybe you might want to consider this alternative. Uh, that was just extremely helpful. And when I think back to having to do this during the remodels that I've done in my life and how frustrating it was compared to how easy this was, uh, pff, night, night and day. And then mm -hmm. our choices. Oh, wait, yeah, they laid out our choices <laughs> on, you know. on the big board. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> tell them about, tell them about. We've got the river rock, we've got the kitchen cabinets, the get craft room cabinets, the office cabinets. The interior I mean, and exterior stain, the shingles on the top of the roof, and it's all laid together. So in case we had any doubts as to whether things matched, it's all on one big board. Um, all of this having been lifted off the wall in the showroom and just carried in here and hung on a board for you to see how it all goes together, which even when I've hired designers in the past or had general contractors, they, they couldn't do this. Um, and that's, that's just phenomenal. And everyone's so welcoming and friendly and just it's an overall good experience. So while selections has taken place, we're also working on code compliance engineering. Join here with Mike. Mike, can you tell us a little bit about what happens during our code compliance engineering process? So during the code compliance engineering process, um, what starts is you're going to meet with uh, the final selections people and at the same time, I'm going to send those plans out to our vendors. We work with a bunch of different vendors across the area that supply the roof trusses, floor trusses, eye joys, tall walls. Um, what they're going to do is they're going to design those trusses, that floor system to that specific house. So when you come to us, you're not gonna have just your run of the mill floor. It's gonna be actually built to your specific specification. So whether that be in Wisconsin, um, Colorado, Wyoming, what have you, they're gonna look in and we're gonna find the snow loads in that particular area. Uh, we've done snow loads as high as 300 pounds. We've done snow loads as low as 20 pounds. So we're going to make sure that it works for that home. So the customer never has to worry about, um, you know, is my, my roof or my floor loaded properly for tile on the floor, for snow load, you know, what have you. Um, as that process is taking place, we're also digging into the plans, calculating the headers, um, basically getting the final plans ready uh, for the customer so they can go and pull their building permits. I've had customers want to include hot tubs, for instance, on deck. Mm -hmm. You're engineering yep. that. Great added value, too, of doing it all in-house is you know all the log product, the timbers, you know what we can Correct. span and carry with weights, right? Yep, absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, the best part about doing it in-house is right, actually, when we start the preliminary process, um, we call a local building inspector or building officials, should there be one present in the uh, where the customer's building, and we ask the questions right up front. 
um, what the snow loads are, um, are engineered plans required because not all areas need to have a professional engineer stamp their plan. So we're asking that way ahead of time so we're prepared so when the customer goes to the final engineering phase, um, we have all of our ducks in a row. We're ready to start that final engineering process, you know, working with an engineer, um, you know, brace wall, full-blown engineering, foundations, all of that stuff, um, you know, so it's, but keeping it all here at Golden Eagle, we're taking care of all that for the customer. I think that's that's the biggest added benefit <laughs> right there is you're not going to have to take it somewhere else to get it stamped, to do this, to do that. These are the plans you, the builders are going to walk into the building department and, bo- and pull their building permit with. Correct. So, right? we've, we've had numerous uh, builders, uh, customers compliment us saying how complete and how great our plans were. Uh, we've had a builder before in Colorado, which can be kind of a sticky state, um, go in there and say that was the smoothest process he's ever had pulling a building permit, yeah. which is great to hear. Yeah. Yeah. Mike, how long does it typically take, um, you know, once that comes to you for engineering, you know, what's a what's a process? I mean, how long would that typically take on average? I would say a good average is about six weeks from when we get the final signed plans, foundation spec form, everything we need to finalize those plans. I say about six weeks when the pref, uh, when the professional engineer is involved. That gives us time uh, for Golden Eagle to do our portion and also the engineer to do all the calculations, foundations, whatever they're needed for stamp plans. And when that six weeks is up, we're usually ready to run prints for the customer. That's why it's really important for the customers to know that this process takes time. So, um, you know, it's important that our customers come in and see Golden Eagle a year ahead of time or more. Um, because by the time that we do that preliminary design and we do the final selections and we do your final engineering and, and, then, and then we have to start manufacturing products for the customers' homes, um, you know, we need you to get you in here a, a year or more ahead of time. It's right. really important um, so that we can plan this um, and really make this home amazing for you. We need that time. Yeah. Absolutely. And there may be, and depending on where you're building, there may be, um, longer lead times as far as pulling permits, you know, depending on the municipality and what their workforce is. If there's an HOA involved, sometimes you have to go through a design review committee. Mm-hmm. So again, that just may take a little extra time there as well. Yep, absolutely. But that is just why it is so important to have the, the engineering staff right under, again, in one place where we can all work together and make this project just turn out uh, great for our customers. Sure, absolutely. You're thinking about building the next one to two years, now is the time to get started. As you can see here, it's gonna take some time to get things planned just right for that forever home. So it's never too early to start. Reach out to us as soon as you can.